Tony, we got some heavy snow right here in the uptown area of Charlotte, right near the neighborhood of Greenville, up near Walter Byers Elementary. And it's exactly the kind of snow that we've been suggesting. It's a very wet kind of snow. As soon as really it hits your skin, it turns into liquid, builds up a little bit on my glove there. But as far as what happens on the grass, the soil temperatures, you still need a pretty good burst of this to really cool things off, get deep into the soil here, and build up onto our grassy surfaces. I'm wanting those kids to be able to get the sleds out and get some sledding done. I've started to get a little bit of that coating, but it's still going to take several hours before that happens, and so that should get the kids excited. Meanwhile, hours before all that, parents, uh, they had a few more headaches to deal with because they had to pick up kids earlier. I mean, this snow basically just started about an hour ago. Parents instead had to pick up their kids early around noon. Some were frustrated because they had to kind of alternate their schedule as far as child care is concerned. But the majority of people we talked to, yes, they're a little aggravated, but they understood. I mean, CMS has to take care of 148,000 kids. They understood the reason behind it. <laughs> Think they're freaking out? Yes, because I don't think it's going to be a storm like that. <laughs> I think it's something that could have been handled without having to dismiss school um, as early as they're releasing them. But I guess we'll all see. Just got to play it by ear and looking for the news. You know, this is Charlotte, North Carolina. We closed down for less. I don't think it's going to be uh, that bad, but we're still certainly going to be watching the roads like Tony was mentioning, but all liquid here. But if we do have those black ice potentials, we could see the possibility of at least some delays. Erica. Yeah. All right, John. John, actually, yeah, I'll take it real quick. You know, the concern, again, is just even if it's melting on the roads, it's going to get cold overnight. So we know you guys are going to monitor to see if that does turn to ice on the roadways. Thank you, John. And I was going to say I had to go early to pick up my son from school because CMS let out. So I understand what parents experienced today. Uh, several school districts already announcing they will delay classes for tomorrow. Uh, Burke and Caldwell County Schools on a three hour delay. Watauga Schools on a two hour delay. Avery County Schools are going to close down altogether. Chesterfield, Fort Mill and Rock Hill Schools on a two hour delay. Now we have a list of all the closures and delays scrolling continuously along the bottom of your screen, so please watch for that.